Duchess Sophie expresses her surprise at Meghan Markle's exclusion despite initially receiving a warm reception. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more updates. Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh, with a heart full of goodwill, extended her hand of friendship to Meghan Markle, hoping to guide her through the intricate maze of royal life. As a kindred spirit who had once walked the path of an outsider turned royal, Sophie believed she could offer valuable insights and advice to the newest addition to the family. In a tete a tete between the two women, their initial encounter seemed promising. The hours melted away as they delved into deep conversations, with Meghan eagerly seeking guidance from Sophie's well of wisdom. Sophie, finding Meghan both charming and captivating, assured her that she was just a phone call away whenever the need for counsel arose. Little did she know that this would be the last she would hear from the Duchess of Sussex. Sophie, taken aback by Meghan's sudden silence, couldn't help but feel a tinge of disappointment. She had hoped for an invitation to the enchanting Frogmore Cottage, the Sussexes abode at the time, as a gesture of reciprocity. After all, Sophie and her husband, Prince Edward, resided at Bagshot Park in Surrey, a stone's throw away from the Sussex family home in Windsor. Perhaps Meghan, with Prince Harry as her steadfast companion, believed she had no need for Sophie's guidance or the assistance of any other royal. Nonetheless, Duchess Sophie remained quite surprised by the unexpected snub, a reminder that even in the realm of royalty, friendships can be as elusive as whispers in the wind. In his captivating book, Elizabeth, a personal portrait, Mr. Brandreth penned the Queen's understanding of the challenges that awaited Harry's beloved as she embarked on her royal journey. Her Majesty, a seasoned observer of such transitions, acknowledged that adjusting to the regal existence could be initially tumultuous. It is a bumpy ride, but one eventually acclimatizes, she shared, drawing from her vast reservoir of experience spanning countless years. To aid Meghan in her transition, the Queen proposed that her daughter-in-law, the esteemed Sophie Wessex, would serve as an ideal mentor. Sophie can guide you through the intricacies of royal life, the Queen suggested. However, Meghan made it abundantly clear that she did not require Sophie's assistance, firmly believing that she had Harry by her side. Renowned royal commentator Kinsey Schofield echoed this sentiment, revealing on GB News that Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, had extended genuine affection towards Meghan and endeavoured to establish a connection with her. The Queen herself had proposed a meeting between the two, with Sophie taking on the role of a mentor for Meghan. However, Meghan declined the offer, asserting her reliance on Harry. Schofield lamented this missed opportunity, recognising Sophie as an exemplary role model who could have guided Meghan through the complexities of her challenging circumstances. The world watched in awe as Harry and Meghan, less than two years after their Grand Windsor wedding, made the unprecedented decision to step away from their roles as working members of the royal family in 2020. Since then, they have fearlessly shared their experiences within the firm, from their groundbreaking interview with Oprah Winfrey to their thought-provoking Netflix series and the forthcoming release of Harry's explosive memoir, Spare. Thank you for watching till the end, please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.